So to start there, I wanted to talk about some of your influences outside of football on, on you as a person and as a coach. I know you said before that one of your idols is Michael Jordan. Why? When he was playing 90s, I wake up at 3, 4 a.m. in Barcelona and my wife sleeping and watching the TV to, because I had the feeling that never again, never ever, I would see this charisma, this com competitor, this a talent, skills player and, and, you know, all in one, in one person, you know, to lead to win uh, many, many championships. So, so I had the feeling like Tiger Woods, for example, or or Nadal, Federer, Djokovic, you know, this, this kind of athlete that is, oh my God, so, so all this package in one person to, to do what they do, um, I don't know, we're going to see it again. So that's why I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Uh, one game of him, like when Tiger plays, I'm there. So 18 holes, four days, don't miss one shot because I think it's not going to happen again. Those kind of things that you like in those sort of athletes, do any of those translate into football, those qualities? I don't know, in terms of mental strength, probably. I don't know the similarities of golf, for example, or basketball and football. There are some patterns maybe, but, but at the end, everyone comes from mom and dad and his brain, his, you know, you can learn but come from, from, from the nature. And, and I don't know if um, I could, or we could take something of, of them. That mental strength, that mental resilience that you mentioned, I imagine is quite useful in title races, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's about the, especially about moments, about moments, about moments, to stay there, stay there, stay there in the game. And uh, <coughs> yeah, the desire to win and these guys have this, something that they always never have an adopts here, never ever. So at the moment, three games to go in a very, very tightly fought title race with Arsenal. How, how do you see it? We have to go to, now we're going to lunch, we're going to travel to London and, and play the game and, and win the game. We know exactly what you have to do. It's not, oh, what happened if, 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 no. It's, win, we have we extend the chance to win it. We don't win, Arsenal will be champion. So it's not much difficult to analyze or to understand. Is that the key, just like keep everything normal? Like it's just a normal game? We yeah, we should, we prepare like a normal game. The players know it, what they have to do to be champion or to do something extraordinary. We have not, we have not done any team, we have done it in the past. Do the players do that naturally, do you think? Or do you have to help them in any way to treat it normally and to keep so level? Well, it depends on the moment. So how you see the team, the vibes, and the reactions come from there, for the air, you know, the vibes of the team. It's, sometimes you have to be more present, sometimes you have to pull away, so, so it depends. So what are the vibes like at the moment? What's the yeah, it's really good, really good. The training, is it like any other any other Friday? Any other any other? No, week? it was a long week, so that's why I have two three days off after Wolves and to disconnect, and after we make a good training sessions. This kind of stage of the season, we as football fans and reporters, and we always assume Manchester City are going to click into form, and you'll reel off ten wins and win the league. Do you ever are you ever surprised when that happens? Do you think that your team always has that in you? to just turn it on when you absolutely have to. Well, the people say that, I understand. They say we were done in the past, but we're done in the past, it doesn't mean we're going to do in the future. And we are done in the past, they take a look. Uh, what they are in the past, they said, we did a lot, a lot of random victories, but we thought just in the next one. So I'm not thinking much, much further these days, thinking Fulham and Fulham and Fulham, what they have done to us, what they have done in their opponents, what the strength they have, when and try to read the players, the type of game we're going to have at 12.30, with imagine sunny day, in a, uh, the grass will be <coughs> uh, slower than usual when we play in, you know, in winter time, like everything is fresh. So many things you have to, to, to think about it and that's all. And after we see, when we take a plane, coming back to Manchester, what is the position, what happened, you're thinking the next. I know Marco Silva is a manager that you that you really really like. What is it about him that that you like and appreciate? Well, first I have a, we have a good relation, and uh, 
he make an incredible job when we played the first time against Fulham in the FA Cup, I think so, or, or Carabao Cup, I don't remember. There's many competitions in England, so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I was really impressed. It's the year where I was promoted to the Premier League, so. And after, look last season, this season, Patters are good, it's, it's re exceptional team, so. So, it's, they movement perfectly. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> and always we play against them. For example, we won here five one, but the the result is fake. We didn't play. We didn't play as good to to win five one. That's for sure. And last season we won two one, and here was tight. Always have been a tight tight games against them. Why do you think that is? What what do they do that maybe causes you problems and makes it difficult for City? They defend really well. The channels inside, the play inside. They allow it to go there. The organization, the back four is really good. Good keeper. Transitions, long balls with uh, Muni Dokimene, they are so, when they link with them, the pace with the quality with Williams or Ayobi, physical players there and link inside. And so there are many, many things that I like a lot, what they do. I like it. Obviously, the, the pressure, as you mentioned, is on you. You think you said this week you have to be perfect, basically, otherwise Arsenal will, will, will have that chance. That kind of pressure, can you enjoy it? Do yeah. you ever, do you, do you enjoy it? No, enjoy it to be here. Enjoy, enjoy to be here with the chance to, to fight to win the title again. I love it. I like it. So I prefer that pressure than being 10 points behind and to qualify or out for the challenge, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would have preferred to be in semi-final Champions League given the schedule is tight. So I prefer that. So of course it's pressure and uh, before the game you are so anxious and nervous, but that's normal. It's our life. So it just to read what you have to do, what you have to, you know, to do in the game and that's does that never fade? Like after all of the successes that you've had, that never, that never <coughs> leaves you despite all of the trophies you won as a player, as a coach already? That, that's always going to be there. Yeah, I was going to be there. It's part of the journey. So, and I learned with this nice, lift it, but after one day, two days, the people forget it. And it's now, so that's why the process has to be good. And the process, again, this season have been, have been excellent. When you look back across the, <coughs> the years since you came to England, do you think you've changed as a person, as a player, uh, as a manager, sorry? Yeah, of course, I'm a better manager, absolutely. I came ways? with the strongest league. Experiences, so no special thing, it's what you see, what you, you know, the players, what they teach you when you see the opponent, what they do, when it's a process. So I'm absolutely better manager than when I arrive because it's many games, a lot of games. And in different competitions, how to adapt, adapt, adapt. So the quality we had the most this season is the quality how we adapt quickly in all the difficulties that we had. So you cannot win what we won in the past without overcome the problems, you know. The teams who, who handle the chaos quicker and better and accept it like a is what it is, they are closer to to achieve the next 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 targets. I know you're only looking at Fulham, but <laughs> We've been playing football in the, in league systems for 140 years in this country. No team has ever won four league titles in a row. What would it mean to make history in that manner? Well, we'd be the Millerstone. We'd be that, that achievement. That's for sure. So, so that's why we we how many years? I think 1888 was in the first one. No, any team has done it. That means how difficult it is, and have been incredible teams in this country. So Liverpool 18th, Sir Alex 90th, Chelsea with the Jose and the other teams, Arsenal with the Arsene. So Nottingham Forever with two Champions League. And so many, many, many extraordinary, uh, extraordinary teams. And and we are one of them as if no one had done it. So it's just three games. So difficult ones because Fulham and Spurs, I would not say. Is easy, but uh, and after the last one here against West Ham, so three games to to be part. But I would say, a part of that, I don't know what's going to happen. The journey this season has been again unbelievable. We so just about a couple of players um, to when Rodri wasn't included in the Premier League Player of the Season shortlist, which took me by surprise at least. Do you think he's maybe underappreciated by people that aren't City fans? Always, I have I will have the opinion that the, the, the holding midfielder should should be. And the Prochet is not the fan, it's not the word. It's, you know, holding midfielder has to be like behind the scenes. Strikers, wingers and people up front. He has no doubt how the appreciation have in the in the English football, in the team and whatever. So 
I would not say they're all nominated. It's Aaron Fur to be there. And of course, could be Rodri and could be another player. Seven players have been there. So he knows how good he is and we know how important an excellent player has become. I'm curious though, do you think he would fit into the team that you played in, Johan Cruyff's Barcelona team? Do you think he could play in, in no, that team? Absolutely. Do you think he has, how would he adapt to that style? Well, he should compete with me in the position, so <laughs> that would be in trouble, really, but of course he could play, absolutely. These players can play in any generations and not the teams around the world. It's transcend, you know? They are too good, so. They are too good to don't be, you know, when he's in, in his level. Yeah. So it's 1992 and Pep Guardiola is the manager. Who's he picking at holding midfield? Pep Guardiola the player or Rodri? If I would the manager, I would pick myself. <laughs> but was Johan Cruyff the manager and he was smarter than me, he would pick Rodri by far. For sure. <laughs> Maybe the two of you, double pivot, that'd be all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> um, and the other one is Phil Foden got the, the Football Writers Player of the Year award. Uh, how pleased have you been with just the way that he's stepped up and he's really made the midfield, the attack, his own in the absence of more experienced players? Yeah, that's true. He played really good and all the season, consistent scoring goals, be decisive in, in many departments, of course, have been really, 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 really good and we are pleased for that. Where can he improve, though? The improvement comes from, from the, the same experiences, the routine, the play games, games. So uh, the, the, the players don't improve when they're sitting in the bench because the manager don't allow them to play. So it's impossible. So you have to feel that on the pitch, the good moment of a moment. And as much minutes you play, it's the same case as all the managers. So the manager, after 10 years, you have better managers than they, you arrive. Who will play it? It's the same. Would he fit in that? Dream team, Barcelona side. Yeah, it was one day it could be, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it was, Phil is a, a special player. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.